Episode 41, we shooting. Y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me. Mm-hmm. Government shut us off already? Nah, not that. All right. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 41 of Hippies and Pancakes. As usual, I got Q Wave with me. What's going on? I got D with me. What's up? And yeah, so, uh, damn shit, what y'all been on fuckers in this last week? How was y'all Thanksgiving? Pretty good. It was cool. I y'all big up in Gallery. What's up? Not- Y'all obey government guidelines or did you make up with your family and speak to you and shit? Um, I seen my mom and stuff. I'm, um, but I ain't really, we ain't do the whole thing like we normal. Right. Nah, that shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. This, this shit, man, they, I'm in my head thinking like, what if they told all us going in the house the whole time? The, all these doctors and shit, they all in the house have a big ass celebration. Like what the fuck type of time is they on, bro? Like they really, they really taking away all our rights, and the, and the people just going like that still. It's like, yeah, I have a problem with it. Like, how they gonna lock us down as Trump's still the president? Is he going like that or what? Like, I don't know, man. This shit, it's it's frustrating is for he me. Already going like that. Mm-hmm. He's he's. Th- and he's starting to give up though, yeah. You know, that's that's fucked up. I thought my man was gonna go out with a fight. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah, I thought man. Trump was gonna give these people a run for their fucking money. I think he just setting up. He for, said nah. <laughs> yeah, he just getting his stuff straight for after his term. Um, whether he start a news network or whatever his next business thing is, um, he getting all of that stuff lined up, make more money. Still have influence because he, he he still has, huh? Nah, I don't think he's gonna go to jail. Such a real nigga. Yeah, I know. The only reason I don't want him to go to jail because he died like a real nigga. He he didn't free Michael Flynn. Yeah, he let Flynn out. I'm like, yeah, this shit going, this shit going well. Ben said he was gonna let Flynn out though months ago. Who is that? Who he let out? Who was playing? Yeah, yeah. You don't remember the Russia Pro when they was doing all that stuff? He was doing? Huh? No, keep talking. Y'all hear me? Okay. I'm about to say, uh, oh, it said my internet connection is stable. Y'all can hear me though? Yeah, I can hear you. Now, Flynn was the dude that was, uh, where he was, I think he was working with the FBI or some shit. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, when they was doing that Russia probe shit. They didn't let this nigga out of jail. This is the thing. <laughs> oh, the dude that he, he <laughs> said go to my line Trump about said, Young Russia. Korean guys, fuck they talk about around. But this the whole kid, though. You know he probably what he is at. They probably just like, look, man, you ain't about to win, nigga. You might as well take this L. So you lied about this shit. Russia should have, Russia really, I don't know, though. That shit got to be food, because if they helped the first time, why wouldn't they help this time? I mean, they might have, but, it, you know, you can't, you, you're not going to fall for the same thing twice, so it's stuff put in place that we probably don't never see. Like, they're not going to tell us about the, the <laughs> hacks and stuff like that, you know what I mean? They're just going to try to deal with it behind the closed door. The way I know where I work set up, with, bro. with that shit. That shit was totally different. You know, there's the a lot of, rules, shit a lot of new shit in they place. Huh? Like what happened? They be knowing what shit like that going on. Just like they decoded that shit. Uh, they decoded the Pearl Harbor uh, messages before the, the shit even happened, and they ain't do nothing about it. Right, but that's what I'm saying. But they not going to let it happen again. 
What pro hobble or the election getting hijacked? Uh, both. If they could stop. Pro hobble kind of happened again with September 11th. A little bit different. A little bit, but they still got the asses headed to it. You would think that with all the military force we got in the world, that shit would have happened like that. I got my nah, theories on that eleven. Pearl Harbor was is 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 big for that. That's a military base. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's what I'm saying. It's different now. Like you're not gonna run up on a United States military base like that. You can do some yeah. shit on civilian soil. It's a little bit different. They, Especially they not with Trump. I ain't gonna lie though. In the last four years, ain't nobody give us no motherfucking terrorist uh, bump. This nigga been down like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was shit going on, but he was taking people out. Like, he was yeah, dropping bombs. Nigga smack out the way. <laughs> this nigga was getting nigga smack out of the way. He, that's the one thing I'm gonna say. Between Trump and Bush, young, them niggas was straight up, hey. Them niggas the fuck out of there. We ain't about to be at war all this time. Oh, nah, but Obama, no, Bush went to war. Obama was getting motherfuckers out the way. Obama got more people out the way than anybody. He he yeah. had more drone strikes than anybody. I mean, just was going hey, that's, all the time. that's geeky though. That that shit really counted a, a, like you kill. Like that's guy. Like how you just gonna kill the nigga instead of bringing them in and holding them, uh, holding them like letting them uh, hey, in no trial for his crime. Though. Like how they get away with that? Kill on sight. Like he too, he too, uh, he too dangerous a lot. But look, how can they send a missile at somebody that's sending a building in another country? But if somebody do that to us, it's an act of terrorism. How come? It's terrorism. Yeah, like, I'm really country, trying to figure out how they, how they can't do shit about it. They be, I'm, they be terrified. I ain't gonna lie, if I wasn't from America, I'd be, and I, like, let's say I was Australian or something, I'd be like, Mo, them niggas are big crazy as shit. Yeah. Like, we grilled out of Wild Wild West all the way. Big dog shit, man. All you the know. fucking way. Come with it. You, like, I'm, uh, I'm looking at this motherfucking, this, uh, Quando Rondo shit. First of all, this nigga, this nigga marching around like he the one that caught the body. That's what I'm saying. He, and that shit bothered me. He, I, I thought he was going to be like NBA shut the fuck up. Like he putting himself in a position when, all right, you're going to defend this for the rest of your life. Like, all right. Like you got to do this forever. Like it's, it's dumb. I mean, but this is the, like this the thing though, life. right? This this the thing. Like the, 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 I ain't really want to go back into this, but I kind of did a little bit, so I am. I feel like he should be marching around on that shit, but you got we gotta look at it, man. That boy just caught a body in the state where you can a state a ground state. You feel me? And we were just talking about how Wap killed somebody, and he on TV talking about how he killed the nigga. That's what I'm because talking about. Of the state. Because the state that they live in, niggas can get away with that shit if you defending yourself. And ain't no telling when you think about it, bruh. If if I'm I'm a I'm a millionaire, right? Oh, I got access to a couple, I got some dollars. I don't know how much money the nigga really got. But I'm paying niggas that's around me, you know what I'm saying? Keep me safe and shit, right? Ain't no way that we gonna be going out, I got all this jewelry on, and you not gonna have no arm um, license with this dog on you. So we can get away when you, if you do some shit like that. We don't put the dog in you so you can go be the fall guy and go to jail forever. You know what I'm well, saying? He, he, like that's not the plan. Right now he locked up for murder. So I mean, cause but he locked up for murder right now. But so is Gucci. We gonna see. And and Wild Bird, Wild Bird, the nigga he killed. Ain't that what you told me? Yeah, he did. That's wicked. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's, that seemed a little, a little meditated. 
That's ain't a little meditated to me. Nah, but uh, I asked Q uh, before we started. Have you heard of the rapper uh, from uh, Alabama, Honeycomb Brazy? Nope. That motherfucker. Check him out. He talking about Gucci man. He the new Gucci man. He, he, he if he can stay out, he gonna blow up. Honeycomb Brazy. If he can stay out of jail. If he can stay out of jail or don't uh, or and, and stay alive, I hope he stay alive and stay out of jail because he's really talented. But That's he's smart one man. Thing gotta do. He's very talented, but he's very fucking into it. He just had a shootout on fucking man, Instagram Live, huh? If I had a rap label when I was signing niggas, bro, part of the contract would be like, bro, you gotta leave the streets, bro. Um, I'd be like, bro, you know, because a lot of it is like family, you you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you know, all right, I'm getting money now. I'm going to leave my people to to war. I've I've been at war with them this whole time. Now I'm getting money. I'm going to leave them to just keep fighting the war. war. You know what I mean? Nah, you right. I mean, what I do, something though different, like when you, when you, when this shit going on though, like, I can't, I'm going to be honest and truthful, like, even at at this point in my life, I can't relate to the street no more like I used to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I relate to them in the most organic way, as far as that's my foundation, but I've also transcended that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't, I, I be trying to look at it objectively like it's a necessity to be there, but then I also feel like I've acquired skills from that life and turn them into to actual dollars with less um with less um risk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your mentality's changed because you realize you have more to offer. And the thing is, like, I hate when motherfuckers are stuck to be stuck. Ain't get no money, but even if you getting money, it's like your the money you getting is it worth your life? You know what I mean? Is it worth the life of your loved ones? You know, especially when you really when you really going at it, like when you you going at people that are dangerous. So you have to move a certain type of way because they kill you. No, nah, for real. Oh, it's fresh, right? Yeah, it's, the fucking I, way. Bro. I mean, it is what I it is. Get your ass right it. out the way. I was agreeing with you. Huh? I said I was agreeing with you. Right, but yeah, because it, it's just complicated. That's why it just come with it. Because it's like when you dealing in, when you dealing with everything illegal, somebody gonna try to take. And then that's when everything get thrown off. Somebody don't pay what they owe. Somebody going to try strong on somebody, you know what I mean? And he, I hate that part of the off. game, too. That, that was the part of the game that I hated the most was I. it, it, it was a lawless game that really had it, – it was a lawless game with rules, you know what I'm saying? It got rules, but it's like if you don't play, are you going – are you going that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's through? the part I realized. I realized that, I, like, yeah, that's what a nigga basically was telling me. Like, you really can't play defense about the streets. Like, either you gonna be in or you gonna be out. Like, yeah, they know I'm gonna be in here. I'm not gonna be snitching on niggas, but I'm also not gonna be killing niggas and doing this, this, and this. If you're not gonna be doing that, then you are gonna be losing. You gonna sit in jail. They have to come back and restart every time. Other than yeah. that, you gonna have to really play the game if you want to stay out here and win this shit. And I'm looking yeah. like, I don't want to be out there jump killing niggas. I want to get money for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is niggas I don't fuck with and shit. But it's like, if I get money, they can't even get next to me. They can't even go to the places I'm going to go. You feel me? Because they ain't going to have the money. Yeah. I mean. And you, you can't beef and be broke at the same time, bro. Like, there's. That's the shit I'm talking bullet. about. That's the shit that's it's not worth it. It's like, we not fighting the fight. 
you're gonna run out of bullets, bro. Dead ass, you're gonna run out of bullets, bro. Yeah, and it ain't worth it. Like, it ain't, it ain't worth the fucking. For me, it ain't worth the stress. I just stressful. Man, all I know is it gotta be another way out of this shit. And niggas gotta figure that shit out fast. Cause this, with this COVID shit, like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'd be sitting around looking like, bro, this shit, imagine this lifestyle for the next five years. Like, what? My God. You feel me? Yeah. Like we already won. So do you 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 can do this five times, obviously, but imagine this for five years of your life and then shit start up. First of all, the rich motherfucker still gonna be rich as shit, but not only is you gonna still be poor, you're gonna be poor as fuck. I mean You know what I'm saying? It's like what the fuck is we what what the fuck are we really voting for and what the fuck are we really asking them for? Cause it's like we chose the motherfucker. We told the motherfucker to go and be in office, you know what I'm saying? That ain't really promised too much or nothing. And now it's like, all right, now what? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, now what? That's why, I mean, we got to wait and see. But this shit make you really feel powerless, especially if you, for me, as a, a, a independent person, business owner type of person that like to move around and do what the fuck I want to do when I want to do it type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It really... Man, I hate this shit. I really hate it. So, I gotta... I gotta it make me feel like I gotta re-up and get bigger and get more control and get some land somewhere that I... you know, That's what it made me feel like. I need to have my own space that I got my own control over that I, cause this shit, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I need me a ranch, a farm. Something. That's, bruh, I'm yeah. telling you, I'd I be saying the same thing. I'd be riding on these back roads. I'd be looking at all this open land. I'd just be like, you'll keep it real. You can get some, you can get a probably a gas pump, you know what I'm saying, on your land, and, and pay somebody to come fill that bitch up like once or, once or whatever. Twice whenever, I don't know. Come fill your gas pump up. Had everything at your motherfucking house. You can be growing your own food. I'm, getting I'm, your own fish. I'm all serious. Kind of shit. I'm dead serious about that. that and that I've been saying this over the last few months. In the next couple of years, I'll have me a farm. I'm definitely going to have a farm in, in the next five or I ain't even going to lie. You already know. I, like I told you, I'm. Nigga. Hey, if I learn how to get somewhere, that's one thing. If a nigga get there first and he, he teach me how to fish, hey, nigga, that's this, you ain't got to teach me how to fish. Lead me to the lake, my nigga. That's all you got That's what I'm do. talking about. That's what I'm talking about because I, I can't do this shit. This shit. Do the lake down there? Oh, all right. You ain't got to tell me shit else, man. I, right. I fuck around getting the water with a bucket if I ain't got shit. You feel me? Like, man, I got trip. I got some books and everything already. I'm shit. I'm dead <laughs> I can I can hey, tell bro, you I've no, been watching it everything. Check out Joe Sal. Uh, I've been talking about uh like aquaculture and like the yeah, genetic food that. shit, right? Like them breeding shit. People, what, what I realized about this shit is this stuff I learned in biology in school was selective breeding is the same thing that they do with the marijuana. You feel me? Like yep. they cross breed it. It's not it's in a lab, but it's not like it's not splicing like niggas be thinking, like, like clone ass, you know what I'm saying? Fake ass shit. It's organic. It's just yeah, it's trial. It's it like works. it's like how they make cats and stuff or uh, dogs. Yeah, they, they like dogs, dogs and shit. That's what I right. said. It's coerced. You know what I'm saying? Right. But hey, aquaculture is something that they was. Uh, it's a class that they were offering when I was in prison. And I'm like, why the fuck are they offering aquaculture? And why also, why are they offering aquaculture to people in prison? That's because, nigga, you know, tilapia and shit, everybody like, that's not real fish. I mean, they are real fish, nigga. You can't give something that's sold. Like, <laughs> they genetics just different as fuck. So what the fuck, okay. tilapia just come out and don't be swimming and shit? I'm about to go Google this shit. 
Nah, man, they real fish. But nah, it's it's just it's like um uh, how most of the corn that anybody eats in America is owned by uh was it uh and what's the name of the company? Um but they is genetically modified, so that it's like it's it's uh, disease resistant and all these things. So it's it's not natural, in a sense. But most of the shit that we like, a uh, uh, apple, uh, for the most part, isn't naturally like all the different flavors. Granny Smith, those aren't naturally occurring. Uh, humans made those as well. Like a, a regular corn cob is genetically modified you know what i mean if you ever seen them something that says how fruit and vegetables normally look and how cows and chickens normally look like we bred all of this stuff so everything it has uh a human a handprint on it but it's like you can do it better ways that's more healthy for the animal and for you and for the land like how we do it is just fucked up. It just it just it just put it. It just it's not done the right way. It could be done better. So I don't know. I think that everybody's problem is they're seeking the utopia on Earth. Mm, that's deep. Yeah, I think that's a problem. That's why we trying to everybody. Is looking for God and trying to play God at the same time. Everybody, not mm-hmm. just the people in charge. Everybody, in a sense. And I say that one because I'm hitting it J and two because that's something that I was I had already been thinking about. Because like, just imagine when you happy, right? What you try to do? You try to do whatever you can to change your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like you try mm-hmm. to do whatever you can to change your situation and shit like that. And the whole world. Even though we we'll be saying some good shit, everybody just be talking like, if we just do this and this, it'll make the world a better place. If we do this and this, it'll make the world a better place. I'm like, see, that's the whole thing. You trying, you trying to create the utopia here, but like you ain't even working for what's next, and that's the kill. If you were working for what's next, I think that people would look like um. The other shit will fall into place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I just a lot of stuff, a lot of a lot of society has been built in uh built in dependencies. So a lot of people, when you living in modern society society in America, you're gonna be dependent on these systems instead of a lot of stuff that people are, are actually able to do for themselves. But uh, if you take that skill away from them, then you're dependent on my company or my whatever to provide it. Like people, so many people have learned how to cook since this uh, this outbreak. But uh, so there are a lot of people that can't cook nothing. And that's why all of the pre-prepared food is the first thing to sell out still to this day and all of the fresh vegetables and meats and stuff it'll still be in there more than the tv dinners and uh pre-cut french fries and all of that stuff that's the first thing to sell out all that gone but there's plenty of potatoes onions and shit but like i say you you become dependent on somebody to do something else for you I, I'm sure it's people that 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 couldn't do nothing. They was like, "Damn, the restaurant's closed. What I'm gonna do? <laughs> what I'm gonna do? A couple of noodles time." Son, like, I was geek. I I I, I be fucking them up with the motherfucking uh with that motherfucking pan in the oven. Hell yeah, I'm dog. I'm dog, especially with the vegetables because. I, I ain't gonna lie. This shit kind of forced me to be more pushed towards being vegan more too because I feel like. I don't know. I just just feel like the vegetables are the safer thing right now. Cause they always got something up they fucking sleeve, bro. And even I don't trust the government period at this point. Nigga wanna stop going to school because they try to administer this motherfucking uh, this motherfucking uh microchip. Nah, yeah, the microchip, but 
some people saying they try and genetically encode it, like replace parts of your DNA proteins with a new parts of uh, new proteins, which basically creates a new DNA strand. See, and that's that part right there is um, selective breeding as well, because mm -hmm. now the human beings that come down the line from our, from us will already be you know genetically modified. Well, it's it's really already started because like now you are able to pick your child's eye color. You can selectively uh, encode that, like you can do eye color and things like that. It that's the so, but and you can scream for you can scream for certain um certain uh hereditary diseases to make sure your child doesn't have them. But that is genetically modifying our whole race because now that child who could have had these problems, they don't have none of that, but now they got green eyes and they're going to pass that down. You know what I mean? And then they can jump high. And they can jump high. Like, and they're going to be six, whatever, you know? So once that starts happening, it's going to be like the movies where it, it's going to be the have and the have nots, but like it is now. Like some kids get braces when they twelve, and a nose job when they fifteen if they need. You know, and it, it is an advantage in being attractive. People act, people want to act like it's not, but whatever. It's an advantage, but that should only go but so far. I mean. I think the thing with attractiveness is it is normally an indication of health. So you're attracted to a person that looks really healthy, nice, firm breasts, you know what I'm saying? Nice, tight uh, body, you know, look firm and strong. That's what normally most people are attracted to. So, you know, if they're going to be healthy, you're going to be less disease written, less ha have less uh, congenital disease and all that shit. You're going right. to be more attractive. When I got, I made a new shirt today. I oh. told you, brother. For the what? You said for what? I showed your brother earlier. Oh, okay. Shirt I paid been fucking around with this clothing shit, trying to get more creative and build. Uh, I'm building my little samples. So when when we go to these motherfucking um, these distributors and shit, you know, I already got my shit ready how I wanted to look. And they get yeah. make it better. Yeah, that's what I that's what what I need. I I I already know, man. I keep saying it. I know what I want. I just need the fucking quality. Like, nah, I want right to be simple. But sometimes people can't. People don't be knowing what you mean unless you show them some shit. And like, oh, oh, I got, yeah, I, I got some, that. I got some, I got some markup. <laughs> I got, I yeah, got I like the general because it. My shit basically all about logo placement and stuff. But I got some. I got. It. You say about logo placement. Mm. Like how mm -hmm. I I wanted like embroidered it and shit, but we will get that bad. What what else been going on, bro? Man, other than that, man, shit, I ain't I ain't really been paying attention to nothing. All I know, like I told your brother, I hope Lil Dirk don't throw his career away over you know what I'm saying this, this whole King Von situation. Cause I understand. I understand that we just dog and shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more to life. You know you got nominated for a gram. Yeah, I seen that. Who got nominated? Lil Dirt. Mm -hmm. You said you got nominated for a gram. But my oh, thing, he, he talking that, shit about it. it. Like, they be snubbing niggas. They be snubbing niggas. But nigga like the weekend, everybody like, man, come on, man. Come on, y'all snub this nigga. I mean, the weekend is great, but nigga, 
we need our own show to validate us and not they shit no more. They don't know nothing about this culture for real. They they going all based on streaming numbers. They don't know what, what niggas really liking, who really the wave. They don't know that shit for we real. We would have the the only way we could do it if if we had somebody that we respect. Like if it was like Jay Z and Puffy presents Dr. Dre, Jay Z and Puffy. You put those three as the top of the board, and then they had it. You know what I'm saying? And then they picked the categories. Uh, we would respect that, and we would tune in for that. You know what I mean? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And nah, cause you know what? I would, I would say nah, even with Jay, cause I, I'm like, he gotta stop rapping. He can't keep be rapping too. You know what well, I'm saying? I'm saying he, ain't, he ain't about to stop. I, I'm just more saying like if if it was a board of culturally relevant people picked by overseen or overseen by Dr. Dre, Puffy, and Jay-Z. So it's not <laughs> it's not necessarily you keep going Dr. Dre in there. <laughs> you got it, man. You got to shout out the West Coast, man. man. All right, Dr. Dre. You know, he he literally has his tree up and down California, you know, the whole West Coast. Yeah, you so, can't you can't include Birdman in them and shit. Niggas be rigging shit. Some certain so, niggas yeah, you would like, have to get somebody from Atlanta. So it'd be like Dr. Dre, yeah. Dude Chris, yeah. Andre from Atlanta. Who would you get from Atlanta? Who would we put Andre on the board? 3000. Andre three thousand. See now now we talking. And then you need somebody oh, from oh, who else? Ludacris. Somebody from Texas or, or Ludacris, Jay Prince, Jay from Prince. where? From Texas. From Texas, you said Jay Prince to beat? Nah, man. Hey, Jay Prince. I, 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 maybe, I, I, maybe Jay Prince Junior. Oh, that's more culturally relevant for them. Yeah, and then they yeah. all, and then you get you get them five people from them areas or whatever and then tell all of them to find 20 culturally relevant people in the industry and have them vote on the panel and that'd be the panel and then we could accept the results of best rapper best singer best collaboration you know what i mean then yeah could you, but you won't have to put nelly on the panel <laughs> I mean, Why are you yeah. laughing, bro? Oh, I'm with oh, it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm with it. Huh? And then you nominate hey, hey, Nelly, the people. That's what I'm saying. Like that's how it should be. That's how the the NBA is. They do the player award. They do the one where everybody vote, and then they so do we, the player so award. Dr. Dre for Eminem. I mean, I think we, we gotta put this shit Dr. together, Dre man. For Eminem. I think we could put it together and, and it'll it'll get the result. If if you had these type of people back in it, it'll get the result. It and now that shit need to be like the motherfucking um all-star weekend. We niggas need to vote. We they need to let us vote. <laughs> like that'd we, be, we, that'd, we think. Hey, look, that'd be even more lit. You have the weekend the first Friday, everybody come in and vote. Yeah. You had a voting party. Oh, nah, we can vote from the phone. Vote from the phones and shit. Oh, and nah, because it's going to be fraud. It's going to be fraud. Right, because you want the people at the party. So you have the big party on Friday, and you only vote when you're at the party. You vote at the party, and the actual war show is on Saturday. Look at us, Bill. That the whole niggas, week niggas can gonna be take our idea. We're going to see this shit on TV. That whole weekend be like, cause the first party be like when everybody there, they be like, I'm casting my shit now. Go in. Mm-hmm. That that whole weekend be lit. Whole all star weekend vibe. That shit gonna be yeah, yeah. looking sweet as shit. Yeah, Fuck the culture war. The culture war weekend, shit, bro. That shit. That shit ain't about yeah. The culture war for real. No bullshit, cause uh, this, cause this, this shit, man, that Grammy shit from Daisy anyway, bro. They be snubbing niggas left and right, bro, like for no reason. <laughs> Sometimes when they be having certain people win, 
I be feeling like I don't know what I'm talking about culturally. Like I'd be like, oh, man, maybe it is. Look, <laughs> they, it's a, it's if it, it's I from what I've been saying, it's a whole political process. You gotta, you have to uh, put the uh, whatever you want up for nomination. You gotta submit it. So you gotta, right. it's a whole submission process that you gotta go through. And then if you get nominated, the Grammy board, they might ask you to do certain events and appearances for the Grammy. And if you're not playing yeah, you know, those games. Niggas gonna be supporting shit. Niggas sitting in the house ain't supporting shit, man. That's what I'm saying. This is Washington, D.C. we talking about. You're not playing them games, you don't get the work. That's how Macklemore won. You know, that's how Macklemore won. You beat Kendrick. Best rap album. Remember he had that shit. What, what was the shit? Uh, I that song when he had. I hated that. It was like. Dur, 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 dur. I, I hated that song so bad. It was like dress at the go get dressed at the thrift shop shit. Somebody thrift store. Oh yeah, that's I hated that song. That shit great. That I hate that song so bad, yo. <laughs> I got $25. I was like, yo, I got $30 in my pocket. That should be good hey, kid, man, city. Huh? That should be good See, kid, man, city. That's how you know that shit flow. That's how you know that shit flow, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's how you know that shit. That's how you know that shit flow. I hated that and, song, and, yeah. I was like, this shit make me want to fucking just crash my car. But cut it off. Niggas be playing with the motherfucking uh niggas be playing with the motherfucking uh Dang, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. I'm high as shit. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, no, nah, niggas be playing with motherfucker Kendrick Lamar J. Cole, too, on Twitter. Motherfucker t- said that, what's this nigga name? Uh, what's the nigga name? Denzel Curry? Yeah. They said that nigga better than J. Cole and Kendrick, bro. I mean, but... I'm on Twitter, like, I gotta be out there. You know, the trolls, they just, want, they, they just want a reaction. They say stuff that's stupid to try to get you to react. So you can't yeah, react to it. What the fuck are you living at, bro? Why would, why would these children even say a thing like that? So you could pay them attention. Kendrick Their mama don't love them. Kendrick Lamar is a goat. Huh? I said K-Dot real loud a goat, but I ain't going to say it. Him versus J. Cole, man. I don't know, bro. Him versus J. Cole, no bullshit. Cole, my guy. But when it comes to... Kendrick gonna win me over because he got he got the songs that I like. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to the like, he got shit like uh, what's the motherfucking uh, what the fuck that shit called? The motherfucking money trees and shit. Yeah, J Rock. Man, yeah, bro, all that shit, shit bro. That shit. Kendrick he got, got whole shit like, whole albums worth of crank. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. Storyteller shit. He could just like go ahead and battle from one album and be cool for it for real. I mean, I Even think I said this before that. though. I think J. Cole got one of my favorite verses ever when he on that Wale. You know, Wale uh first jump. What what song? Beautiful Bliss. Yes. Oh my god. He he man. Ever. I was like, Wale need to take him off this shit. <laughs> Uh, nah, this nigga did this song with Black, bro. I'm like, bro, this nigga be cranking, bro. Like, the levels this nigga go with the rap shit, it's like, niggas don't want to listen to him because you got to really think about what he's saying and see how deep this shit get. It's really honestly a conversation. Dead ass. Yeah. This is the conversation for real. The nigga just be talking to you, like, trying to get you to understand his point of view on this subject right here. Niggas be like, man, that shit don't crank. I'm like, but how can you say this, bro? This nigga's cranking, bro. <laughs> this nigga cranking, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though. I can see some motherfucking... I like uh, Schoolboy Q, too, though. That's my nigga, bro. Yeah. I like West Coast rappers. Y'all already know. 
I, w- I want Ab So to come out one day. He be spitting. Ab so. He 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 be spitting, but he don't. For me, I ain't never had him put the whole thing together. Like he, I don't know. It's like a couple of bars of miss. But if like if he could just connect those, like he'll he'll have out of the sixteen, he'll have fucking twelve jumps. But the four bars that he missed came in the wrong place. You know what I mean? So it like kind of chopped the song up. You like that's hard. All right, that's all right. All right, that's hard right there. You like all right, all right. you know what I mean? You gotta you just get the whole thing fucking locked in. The whole shit got to connect. He don't be connecting for real. Not all the time. Yeah. I mean, he got, man. Like I can say, I'm not trying to take that. nothing away from him. He, he go hard. But for me, it don't be connecting all the time. Not always. That nigga through. J-Rock had that shit on his back for a minute. All the time, dog shit. I knew J-Rock before I knew all the niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, J-Rock was the first nigga from out there. I was all like, damn, who this blood-ass nigga? With that first little Wayne jump. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The culture be dissing Weezy, man. I don't like that shit, man. The culture really be dissing Weezy. I be talking to people, they be like, you like Lil Wayne? I'm like, yeah, nigga, Frank. I let niggas listen to Weezy. It's like, nah, this shit ain't it. How the fuck Weezy not it, bro? Weezy is him. I mean, as far as rapping go, he... You can't take it away. I think it's a lot of the off of the mic stuff that that uh and not a lot because he shit he changed the whole fucking generation. But like just some of the off of the mic stuff that is kind of like like the shit with Trump and like uh what else? Um I don't think it's the shit I think people just don't like the way he rap because he a rapper rapper. Man, nah, he go off. You can't I don't know nobody that like how he rap. They don't like his raps. Man, look, niggas be saying they don't like my man rap. So. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I, maybe his early stuff, but not for the last. When we just start snapping, two thousand and six, five, six, five, so yeah, around two thousand five. When I know about when he started dominating. Oh, so around two thousand. Five, two thousand six. That's everybody was done. Pop dad, big dad. <laughs> Man, he but it was literally I got the mixtape. Well, I got this hard job with all these mixtapes on it. But I got the mixtape like his it was after the Carter um after the Carter uh one in the dedication. And then the yeah, Carter, the Carter took, solidified that, that, back. that was the period he took over the world. Those three t- it, that, but niggas try niggas be trying to play Gilly about that shit too. I can like Gilly ain't that like nigga Gilly Gilly was Gilly made Wayne. That's who the, where the Carter came uh, from. Uh, I wasn't there, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, what you gotta say, Q? I just don't agree with that statement, you know. Me. You don't feel like he wrote that shit? No, I don't think he wrote it. He might have influenced his, his style. Yeah, he was influencing the whole little routine, bro. Niggas was giving niggas swag, giving niggas game, bro. Yeah, but you Weezy is like not. Weezy is I not really. That don't mean I, I can take uh, his slam dunk contest when he do that 360. <laughs> <laughs> I said, put it, I said, put it behind your back and then motherfucking windmill it. He still did that shit. I don't even know why the fuck I started liking Lil Wayne so much. I mean, when I was a little kid, he was rapping already. He was, he, but then, like, as I got older, the nigga really got good. Like, when I, I started really fucking with the nigga uh, Louisiana mixtape, I found that shit and I started listening to, man, like, how the nigga was rapping. Like, was, look at that. This nigga, all, look at that. That's when he was swimming with the pigeons and flying with the fishes. That's when well, he ate Mike, uh, um, Mike Jones ended that nigga career. That was kind of hot. That song was hot too. <laughs> that shit was God. 
Oh, man, White Joe's quit. He gave up, man. He hit it because Lil he Wayne took a single. He gave up. He could have kept going. He had a song. I think it's like, oh, when we said My Jones, we used to like that. I liked that as a kid. He could have kept I'm, going. I'm telling you, he came out with his next uh, fucking CD. And, and, the C- and the jump was bubbling for like three days. And Lil Wayne put out his version. And nobody played the Mike Jones version no more. That's Motherfuckers dope. were scared to drop singles because he would take your shit and eat you like straight up hey, like he think, did jay-z on sky's the limit you think Just, birdman told him he's like yeah go ahead do that <laughs> do um, that what do you think birdman told him like yeah go ahead do that <laughs> i i think all right so the mixtape era niggas was just taking people's song you think motherfuckers i have a real problem with that now no nah, yeah a real problem, and he was he was taking niggas singles and and making them his and putting it on the mixtape. And motherfuckers was playing on the radio, playing in the club, was not listening to your version of your shit. And he performing, he performing your beat, but his version of your song that he took. Shit was crazy. Dog in your shit. You looking sad and shit. Hey, did he drop this No Sellers three? Yeah, I think uh, the joke with Drake. With Drake? Yeah, Drake and the joke. I ain't listen hey, to the whole thing. I don't know what the fuck going on. Huh? I said, I ain't listen to the whole thing. I'm about to say, I don't know what's going on with, with Texas right now, man, but that shit looking wicked. You saw a little baby down there? Man? Huh? So a little baby down there, right? Now nah, what happened? He and Leslie was strapped up, like in the picture with uh, oh, that James Harden, cause you know a lot of rappers right. down there. Oh yeah, so he dogged up. Yeah. Man, why not? Shit, I don't, I don't think that's uh, odd. <laughs> nigga, I got security, uh, but I got this too. Niggas ain't playing fair, but you know why though? You don't never know, like no bullshit. One thing that what we what we don't know is a lot of shit be cover ups too. It might be other shit going on in Texas, and that rap ain't really saying out loud. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas getting hit, but you gotta think Texas is like a, a big section of America. They got their own rules down that bitch too. Yep, that's why I said we gotta include Texas. They they got they got big big different rules down that motherfucker. Everybody got different rules though. Every section of the country you go to is gonna have different rules. You can't go nah. nowhere in this country and impose yourself on niggas, bro. But they can ride around like with a stick though. Down there, right? Yeah. Now I'm already knowing, bro. Dogged up. <laughs> Police ain't doing nothing. They are, that bitch in the glove box. They already know niggas dog though. Don't even ask. I'm talking <laughs> about the motherfucking long rifle. The motherfucking like they got no clip restrictions and shit. We up here, we even if you got it, you got all these fucking size restrictions and all kind of shit. They they trying to make you if you got this bitch, you better be on point because they'll lock you up. If, if you got but that's the history wrong. of this country, bro. You already know the closer they feel like you, they that you get into where it's really at or where they really want control at, they ain't gonna let you have a lot of firearms. Cause you can live right in Virginia and have dogs and all that too. Yeah. You feel me? Like as long as you ain't up on their ass and in, in, in certain city limits, like you like we be talking about, like you've been talking about. You could just like be controlling what you want to do. You could change your whole ordinance and be like, "Hey, nah, no saying, ordinance. Get, nah, we, get, get we, we, you can have scopes like this because we hunt here. Damn, yeah, we all kind of shit lame. like that, and be and just have fun, man. Like that's what I'm saying. Once you can take care of yourself, you can start having fun. Build the system. You can provide for yourself. Feed yourself. Feed your family. You just if you cool, you cool. You know what I mean. Have a good time. That's what everybody want. 
be able to feed their family. Niggas, family. Niggas, don't, niggas out here dying. Though. They, they know that shit. That's why these rappers moving like this. Like, I just, I just really hope a nigga, that a rapper look don't have them dogs on you and don't wear the niggas out when they come. You better, you better be on the other end of that murder story. Like. Cause it ain't no point to having uh, being on. Not saying little baby. I'm just saying anybody. Ain't no point in having all this shit on you if you ain't if you not about to wear a nigga out when them folks come. Well, they not about to be around when the, when when the time come. Like that's like what, what the fuck was the guns in the picture? I I, I was saying he probably he had it tough. Oh, little baby. Yeah. Yeah. He said he had it tough. Yeah, he was in his uh, hoodie pocket. Uh, oh yeah, he yeah, that's what that, that's what it's supposed to be. Right. Like he ain't, he ain't flashing it. He, he that's for protection. Man, niggas, no, hey, I'm out here with my shit dog up. If y'all come, hey, I'm coming too. <laughs> what y'all got planned though for the rest of this weekend, man? Just trying to see this fight tonight. This fight. Mike Tyson. Yeah, we out there. Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, I've been talking about this. What's today? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, he about to beat my man ass. He about to whoop Roy Jones ass. I ain't going to lie. You got Roy? Uh, huh? Uh huh? You got Mike Tyson winning? I, I got Mike Tyson whooping his ass. I don't know. I don't know. I do know. I do know. Hey, I just feel like Roy gonna pull the upset. That's just my opinion. I feel like. You you underdog, you underdog uh room for niggas. That ain't look, that ain't even the case here. This is Mike <laughs> fucking Tyson, bro. I know. <laughs> What's the age difference? Yes. Uh, it's the age difference? Yeah. Ass smoke gas, bro. You tripping. He smokes gas. He's good. Y'all is tripping, bro. Y'all child mind, bro. I'm, I'm thinking Mike, uh, because of how he looked when he was training, but I don't I mean Roy, he he's a champion too. So you thinking that Roy Jones? I think it's going to be a Jones. better fight than a lot of people giving Roy credit for. No, nah, I'm not saying he's going to just spank his ass up, but I know he's going to go to that nigga body, though. Like, this boxing, he's going to go to this nigga body, bro. <laughs> 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 he go, fuck. He going to go to the... I'm, I, what I don't want is for it to be no first-round knockout. I want these two old niggas to fight. You know what I'm saying? Or some sit down sandy shit. Like real live. Two old head niggas. I want these niggas to real live box. But in my mind, if, if this is a game and I was using a player, it would be Mike Tyson and I would be going to Rory Jones Jr. body. So that's how I see this playing out. Yeah. I think he's going to go to the nigga body, bro. He gonna, I feel like Roy Jones is going to be sore tomorrow. Tomorrow his body gonna hurt. That's my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. I don't see nothing else coming from this. I mean, I ain't saying Mike Tyson body not gonna be here, but in my mind, something wrong with that nigga, bro. Something wrong with that nigga, bro. With Mike? Yeah, something wrong with that nigga, bro. Something wrong with that nigga, bro. Niggas be jive real live intimidated by this nigga, bro. Like before they even get in the ring in their head, they probably be real live like, man, what the fuck? This nigga about to beat me the fuck up, and if I don't let him win, he might eat me. That gotta be in your mind. If you fought this nigga right now today, you wouldn't think that Mike Tyson just might bite your ass. <laughs> this ain't a slight possibility. I'm talking about you working. Dogging this shit. Boom, boom, boom. Dogging him. You hear me? Next thing, you don't think he might just get close and be like, yeah. 
take your ass out. That's the, I, I, that's the fear for me. I wouldn't think that he's a change man in that ass. Like he said, because what the fuck made him do it in the first place? You feel me? I don't think he's gonna do this tonight. I hope he don't upset me. Like that'll that'll blow me that next week we be talking like, bro, this nigga Mike Tyson did Roy Jones. I be mad. <laughs> I'll be mad as shit having this conversation with y'all. Like, this nigga been more than Jones, too. So hopefully, neither one of these old niggas hurt each other too bad, but we're going to go to his body. So, uh, what's this, episode 41 of Hitches and Pancakes? Yeah. Hey, this is like a wrap, fellas. I appreciate y'all, as usual. All right, brother. About to go through these goddamn uh, beats that I got in my email. All these producers keep pressing me out. Like, check your email. I'm gonna check them today. I see y'all next week. Yeah, we waiting on the new shit. Yeah, my shit, my shit is, is gonna be dropping anonymously. I'm gonna just randomly drop some shit under a new name. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> drop it under new day, but all right, y'all. It's been real. Um, Yo.